Sir, the rip is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kind of hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan. Search for any other survivors and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant, energize. We need to observe quarantine procedures. We have no idea what we're dealing with here. Jim, you should probably stay clear of the injured, just to be sure. Got it. See what you can find out about the infection. We'll go talk to Daniels. I have been sent to escort you to the Commodore. I don't need an escort, especially an armed one. But... Uh, Captain, the Commodore has insisted... Captain, it would be wise to remember that Commodore Daniels is still a superior officer. It may be beneficial to our larger goal if we followed this gentleman. Ah, fine, whatever. Sir? What now? You will need to check your weapons before continuing. You're kidding me, right? I'm a Starfleet captain. It is the protocol of this station. There is little time to argue. I advise that we do as they say. I just want to know one thing. Did anything come through? Sir? I assume you are here because the machine caused a rip. Did anything come through? We were attacked. They took my father. Then it works. Commodore, with all due respect, what the hell is going on here? Unlike you, Mr. Kirk, I did not get my command of a starship because my daddy died in some heroic blaze of glory. Some of us have to earn our way in life. People died back there. I'm sure history will make note of their sacrifice. Commodore, you do realize that the Helios device has fallen into hostile hands. If the Gorn learn to harness its power, they will be all but unstoppable. Isn't that where you two come in, sir? You two were supposed to be the heroes. Starfleet's rising stars, or so I read somewhere. If that is truly the case, I would advise that you get that machine back before there are even more casualties. What have I done? What you've done, Tamar, is help create a machine that will shape the future of Starfleet. Wait, you knew about this? Tamar? Spock, you must believe me. I did this to protect our people. That device was supposed to help rebuild our planet. If I had known that, it would have... On screen! communications bay. We must notify Starfleet at once. This is my station. I'll notify Starfleet.
Prepare my shuttle for evacuation. I knew I hated that guy. Captain, I am familiar with this starbase. I can lead you towards the communications bay on the upper level. What the hell was that? I do not know. The fire is under control. Please remain at your assigned post. We need our weapons back. Agreed. Help yourself to whatever you need, Captain. <laughs> These ought to do. These will suffice. We gotta put out that fire. I believe we can override the power grid with our tricorders. The turbo lift will take us to the mess hall. Status. They say there are incoming ships. We're gonna be surrounded here pretty quick. Weapons ready. Prepare for... <laughs> 